Hello, this is Narwhal Hacks on YouTube, and today, as you can probably see from the title, we're doing our first scripting tutorial. So I'm going to do a few of these, I'm going to show you guys how to make a GUI and stuff, but none of these are going to go very into very much detail. So if you're a higher level scripter, you might not want to watch this, but this is just for people who are just starting to try and script. So to, today we're going to try and script make a script for this game. It's Noob Simulator. It's pretty simple. So to start, all you guys need to have for this, it, I'm gonna link the scripts in the description of the video too. All you need is, I like using a simulator template. So this is just how you're gonna do it. it this is only um, targeting remote events and remote functions. And then we also have a remote spy. The one I use is um, obfuscated, so you can use this. Again, there will be links of all of this in the description. So we go. We're gonna go back, and now we're gonna take our synapse out. I have tons of useless stuff over here, but we're gonna execute our remote spy. So now, if you hit F9, you're gonna see all of this stuff, and every time a remote event is called, like an add skill event. It's going to show up there. So you can see here there are two arguments. So we're going to want to target this event because this is adding skill to our character. So what we're going to want to do now is you can see the path right here. This path is what we're going to put in the remote. So we're going to say local remote equals game because game is the parent of everything. So you're always going to put game first and then whatever comes next here. So it's going to be game dot replicated storage dot events. And then you're going to put a bracket or whatever these are called. And then this. And then the last thing is the actual event. So you're going to do um, a bracket and those, I don't even know what they're called. And then you're going to say add skill event event so then now you're gonna see we've got to find these arguments so before I do anything else I'm gonna see if I can get enough money to upgrade my click to see what these arguments actually reference right now I'm looking at it the top argument seems to reference the skill that we're gaining and the bottom one seems to reference coins just get to 50 to try and um, see this. I honestly should have used an auto clicker, but here we're at 50. So now we can hit F9 again to close this for now. So we're gonna upgrade. And then now we see at the bottom of this, you see there's an upgrade skill click event. So once you finish this, you can see, well, one probably references the level that you're going to, or the level that you're at. But anyway, we're going to now see. So yes, well, that was right. This references the skill, and this references the coins. So now, because those don't have parentheses around them, some of the times... Sometimes these do have parentheses around them. So because those don't, we're going to get rid of the parentheses on the arguments. And we're going to say the first argument. We're going to make it 900. Just because, why would you want it to just click what you have? So you can change the arguments. As long as the argument's not like... I found it's not great if you try and like only upgrade skill click. It's not great if you try and skip... Uh, arguments there but here you can go all the way up to 900 then while we do and that's just saying do this a ton so we're gonna go replicated oh I'm great at spelling what did I do oh replicated Obviously, you're going to come across glitches, but it kind of, it's nice because it tells you the line it's at and everything. 
So now, there you go. You got your script. You can even... Should have made a way to trigger this. But you can just auto farm with this forever. In the next video, I'm going to cover um, getting a GUI set up.